All right, y'all, in a story that is perhaps a surprise to absolutely nobody because it's coming out of the Seattle area, we got a landlord who's dealing with a squatter situation. This poor guy is out over $80,000, and uh, the city, the liberal policies, he's unable to evict, right? So the guy is totally out of his mind doesn't know what else to do he's getting no assistance so he actually pulled a freaking big boss move here and held a protest outside of his own home let's talk <laughs> all right y'all seattle y'all know seattle they ain't good over there man they're bad they're bad this cat right here this guy uh just the landlord okay and he is getting royally screwed, all right? Uh, I will drop the link to this article uh, in the notes below. But this guy right here uh, that you've seen in the photo, uh, sorry for screwing up your name, brother, Jaskarin Singh, okay? He is a landlord, and he got totally screwed, right? So he had these tenants. He moved them in. By my estimation, they appear to be professional squatters because what he did is he collected first and last month's uh, rent as security deposit and then they never paid him again, right? And you'll see professional tenants out there and they're especially going to be prevalent in places like Seattle, right? Places that are incredibly woke, incredibly liberal where you just get to hose some poor guy like this, right? And live in his house. Like, dude, $80,000, y'all. $80,000. They stole 80000 from this man and he can't get him out of the house, right? So they, they, they pay the first and last month's rent security deposit to get in the home, and then they just they ghost the guy. They won't pay him. Uh, because it's an incredibly woke area, uh, he filed eviction, and they were given free legal aid. That is, uh, you know, that's par for the course in, in, like, woke areas now, right? They're giving everybody free legal aid. He got that from uh, the uh, Housing Justice project okay they provided the tenants with free legal assistance to navigate the process and it went good ultimately uh hjp paid the back rent as well as a three-month advance to give the family time to move out now this all happened back in 2022 right so professional tenants just stay with me here uh they move in don't pay them a cent they planned on squatting it sounds like they then Got free legal aid, which, by the way, the landlords, the people that actually pay bills and taxes, they're the ones paying for that free free legal aid. It ain't free. So he's paying these people's attorney fees who's then stealing. Like, these people are stealing from them, and then he's paying for their attorney, essentially, right? But anyway, it goes good for a while. This, this uh, what was it called? H, the Housing Justice Project, right? They, they, they square it up and pay, right? So it's like, okay, fine. And, you know, you get all the people there like, why won't landlords deal with assistance? Why do they just move to evict people? Why are they creating houses, homelessness, right? Because shit like this happens. They come in, squat, in my opinion, premeditated move here. They then get government assistance, freeloading, right? But whatever, the landlord gets taken care of. And then after that, they never move out. They were supposed to stay there and then had a planned move out date and they gave them that three months in advance so they can get that extra three months to find new housing. Yeah, guess what? They didn't do that. They stayed there and, of course, never paid a cent again. Now we're here present day. They are still there, have not paid a cent. He had to refile the eviction. They're given free housing or free legal aid to fight the housing eviction, and he can't get them out at this point they now owe him eighty thousand dollars that's how much money this poor bastard has spent they've been there for quite a while they owe him 80 freaking grand so what does this dude do freaking legend bro he goes viral holds a freaking protest in front of their house his house i love this dude look at this Land landlord lives matter man that's awesome look at that can we make that bigger? Come on, go bigger. Ah. Oh, Look at that. Landlord lives matter. Landlord lives matter. He's got all these people out there. This is great, dude. So he holds this whole protest in front of the home. 
I love this, man. This guy is making the best out of a bad situation. Look at all these people, dude. Stop squatting justice for small landlords, right? And this is the reality that people face when they when they invest in places like Seattle, dude. This is just a regular guy just trying to earn an honest wage. These people come in. They steal from him. And then since the government, the woke government out there, vilifies landlords, the landlord must be evil. So let's take taxpayer dollars, pay for their legal aid. Let's take taxpayer dollars, pay their rent. And then these deadbeats, these scumbags, these serial squatters, even after given all that free stuff, they still go back to their ways of just being slimy cretins. And now this dude, 80K in debt, can't get them kicked out of the house. Their legal aid is fighting like maniacs, abusing the uh, completely unfair housing uh, court system uh, to their advantage. And this poor bastard has nothing he can do other than bring awareness to the injustices that they are facing. So I salute you, brother. Thank you for doing the hard work. Folks, if you're going to invest in real estate, you got to take notice of this kind of stuff. Stay out of these woke places, dude. They got an agenda, and it is freaking evil, man. They don't want me owning property. They don't want you owning property. They want to control everything. Turn us into a nation completely dependent on the government, man. That is not American, so... If you're going to try to live the American dream and invest in real estate, y'all, make sure you do what I do and you only invest in red states. Because if you invest in a blue state, you might have to hold a fucking protest outside of your own home. Meanwhile, this fucking asshole squatter family is just fucking living off of your dime. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.